Hi, Jackie. Hi. What are you doing? I'm freezing. Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I will show you two ways to duplicate yourself using Filmora 9. Here I am on Filmora 9 main editing timeline with my sample project. To create the effect in demo number 1, you will need to shoot yourself in the same frame, with the same camera setup and lighting condition, if possible. And of course, you will need the same actor for your shots. In this example, I took only one long shot, then I will split the shot into parts when editing in Filmora 9. Once I finish my first shot, I keep my camera continue recording, and move to the other side of the screen, and play another version of me. Being mentioned that the center line is the limitation where we need to keep our characters away from that. Then I bring my footage into Filmora 9, I split my long shot into two parts. Secondly, I simply put my second parts on top of the first one like what you are seeing now. Let's delete the effect to do it again to help you understand correctly. Firstly, select the clip on top. Then, go to the effect tab. Find the utility down below. Drop this image mask directly to the selected shot. Here is the default mask I've selected. The shape is not what I want. Let's customize it. Double clicking on the selected shot. Find video tab. And scrolling down to the video effect where we can control out mask effect. Now select this mask. Now all we need to do is to adjust the mask position to get the effect we want. I will adjust the mask by moving this X slider to the right. And adjust the feather a little bit to eliminate the sharp line at the center. And here is how it looks. That's easy, right? There are many other creative ways to play around with this mask effect. I will show you in my next tutorials. Alternatively, you can also record yourself with a green screen behind you. Then, all you need is to key out the green color, and overlay your shots on the background video you want. It's easier than the first option. However, it will be very difficult to record a perfect green screen video without correct lighting setup. That's why I use stock footage I downloaded on Pixel.com to use as an example. All I need to do is to drop my green screen footage onto the timeline. Activate Chroma Key feature. Then play around with Offset, Tolerance and Feature to remove all the green background from my footage. Once I am happy with that, I just copy and paste my character to the track above it. Then I move my character and place it on the screen to duplicate it. Actually, I can copy and paste as many times I want. That's how you can duplicate yourself using Filmora 9. I hope you enjoy the tutorial. If you have any question, let me know at the comment section below. Thanks very much for watching and I will see you in my next videos. Bye for now.